do you know what is the most rare and valuable skill in 21st century do you know that a goldfish can hold a thought for a longer period than we humans do according to a latest research the average attention span of a goldfish is about 8 seconds and as that of humans is just 7 seconds welcome to the 21st century where we have totally lost our ability to focus deeply and immerse ourselves in complex tasks hi there i am abina and today i am going to share with you a book summary or some important lessons from book called deep work by the author cal newport so in this book the author intends to outline three important lessons that we can use in our daily lives so that we will regain our ability to focus deeply on complex task so what are those lessons let's check it out and i hope you have brought your scuba diving gear with you because we are about to go deep so the first lesson that the author tells us is be intentional about your approach uh, by this he means that being intentional about your work ethic requires monitoring how you spend your time uh, so one of the first steps in making this decision would be to uh, sort out your productive and unproductive time this way you uh, might start recognizing uh, patterns in your daily life or where do you spend your most time productively or what are your unproductive habits so sort out those habits and start working start focusing on making unproductive habits more productive having said that the author again uh, comes to second lesson of this book that is productive meditation the basic idea of this uh, lesson is using your downtime effectively say for example you are commuting to work daily for 30 minutes that is your overall time in your day is 30 minutes spent 15 minutes while going to work and 15 minutes from coming to work say for you are walking from subway so uh, you can plan this time because as you know this time is not much productive so what you can do is simply uh solve a complex problem in your mind while you are taking a walk, walk or while you are commuting or showering or uh, daily course activities these are great opportunities to solve smaller problems in your mind so the next time you have some downtime latch on to a bigger problem break it down into smaller problem and solve it that's it and the third and the last lesson that the author suggests is to quit work at the same time each day so your brain needs some space to reflect on the activities that are occurred over the or all along the day so limit yourself by quitting work and not checking emails phones or even shutting down your laptop after a definite time say for example uh, every day i shut down my laptop or Uh, my phone after freshening up at 6 pm and from 6:30 to 7 i go out for a walk during this activity i think deeply about some uh, low hanging fruit problems like say for example how can i solve how can i do so and so task so while walking my creativity uh, means automatically increases because i am thinking about a problem so this way you will have a fixed slot of free time every day to reflect on activities and your mind will keep working below the surface without you getting much burned out so i have following after reading this book i have started following this habit consistently since last one and half month and i can already feel that i'm moving towards a deep work ethic mindset already and my productivity has also increased a lot as compared to uh, previously when i hadn't gone through this book so yes i hope you loved this summary and i encourage you to uh, go and read this book and explore the concept of deep work thank you